He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. Build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. You have to believe in yourself. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself but not the enemy, for every victory gained you will also suffer a defeat. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. The wise warrior avoids the battle. The whole secret lies in confusing the enemy, so that he cannot fathom our real intent. One mark of a great soldier is that he fight on his own terms or fights not at all. Attack is the secret of defense, defense is the planning of an attack. Great results can be achieved with small forces. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. Bravery without forethought, causes a man to fight blindly and desperately like a mad bull. Such an opponent, must not be encountered with brute force, but may be lured into an ambush and slain. Never venture, never win. Wheels of justice grind slow but grind fine. The worst calamities that befall an army arise from hesitation. When the outlook is bright, bring it before their eyes, but tell them nothing when the situation is gloomy. We cannot enter into alliances until we are acquainted with the designs of our neighbors. Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. Begin by seizing something which your opponent holds dear, then he will be amenable to your will. Rewards for good service should not be deferred a single day. If his forces are united, separate them. Move not unless you see an advantage, use not your troops unless there is something to be gained, fight not unless the position is critical. The general who advances without coveting fame and retreats without fearing disgrace, whose only thought is to protect his country and do good service for his sovereign, is the jewel of the kingdom. Convince your enemy that he will gain very little by attacking you, this will diminish his enthusiasm. To fight and conquer in all our battles is not supreme excellence, Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. Be extremely subtle even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons. And they will follow you into the deepest valley. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. When one treats people with benevolence, justice, and righteousness, and reposes confidence in them, the army will be united in mind and all will be happy to serve their leaders. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Water shapes its course according to the nature of the ground over which it flows, the soldier works out his victory in relation to the foe whom he is facing. Thus the expert in battle moves the enemy, and is not moved by him. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity.